In the previous video, we discussed about the erythrocytes. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the hemoglobin, its structure, types and the diseases associated with it. We know hemoglobin molecule is iron containing oxygen and carbon dioxide transport protein in erythrocytes or RBCs. It carries oxygen from lungs to cells and tissues and then this hemoglobin takes carbon dioxide from cell and tissues to lungs for expiration. If we see the flow chart, it's like this. First of all, air is inspired into the lungs. Here the RBC carries out the oxygen from lungs and binds it with hemoglobin. And this oxygen is delivered to cells and tissues. Now from here, these cells and tissues leave out carbon dioxide as a byproduct. And these RBCs takes out this carbon dioxide and delivers it to the lungs where it's expired out. Furthermore, if you see the structure of hemoglobin molecule, it's a complex protein structure which is made up of several molecules. We see it has two major structural elements, heme and globin. The heme is made up of protopopyrin 9 and iron atom. Here in this diagram, we have the protopopyrin 9 and when it's combined with iron atom, we get the heme molecule where we have iron atom in the center of molecule shown in the diagram. Four of the six coordination sites around this iron atom are occupied by nitrogen atoms. Fifth one is occupied by binding of globin chain to it. And then ultimately last site is available to bind an oxygen molecule as shown in the animation. So all the six coordination sites of iron atom are occupied now. This makes us the one hemoglobin molecule, but it exists as a tetramer in the RBC. So the four hemoglobin molecules combine together to form a tetramer as shown in the diagram. And in this tetramer, we have now four oxygen binding sites, which can bind four oxygen molecules as shown in the animation. Moving further towards the hemoglobin types. We have three major types of hemoglobin molecules, hemoglobin A, hemoglobin A2 and fetal hemoglobin. The hemoglobin A is the most common tetramer and abundant type of hemoglobin in humans. It has two alpha polypeptide chains and two beta chains shown in the diagram. And it's 95% to 98% of total hemoglobin present in the blood. Second is the hemoglobin A2 which is least common tetramer with two alpha chains and two delta chains. So here two beta chains have been replaced by delta chains. This hemoglobin A2 is found to be increased in beta thalassemia patients. And in normal cases, it's mostly present in between one to 2.5% of total hemoglobin present in the blood. Then we have fetal hemoglobin, which has two alpha chains and two gamma chains. It's present in fetus and is produced around 6th week of pregnancy and it dominates till 4th month of birth. Now let's get to the diseases associated with hemoglobin. We have three major diseases associated with hemoglobin. Alpha thalassemia, beta thalassemia and skill cell anemia. Let's briefly take an overview of all the three diseases. In alpha thalassemia, we have lack of alpha globin chain production in hemoglobin or there is reduced production of hemoglobin. And uh, in diseased humans, we have small RBCs with hemolytic anemia and enlarged spleen. The cause of alpha thalassemia is the mutation of alpha genes on chromosome number 16. Second is the beta thalassemia due to lack of beta globin chain production or its reduced production. In beta thalassemia patients, we have high levels of hemoglobin A and fetal hemoglobin. The symptoms are same like hemolytic anemia and enlarged spleen. And this beta thalassemia is due to mutation of beta genes on chromosome number 11. Now getting to skill cell anemia, where beta globin subunits in hemoglobin A is replaced by hemoglobin S, HBS. And this formation of HBS is due to single nucleotide mutation in which GAG codon is replaced by GTG codon in beta globin gene. And this abnormal change or modification results in glutamate being substituted by valine at position 6 in globin chain. In this case, RBCs or erythrocytes becomes deformed and skill cell shaped and then becomes sticky and rigid with which RBCs are unable to flow properly in the blood vessels. 
so this is a brief overview of hemoglobin molecule and its types i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks